Don't be easy. Don't be ugly. Oh. And drink iced coffee. That's the game plan if you want to be a betch, which rhymes with fetch, not to be confused with the other. <laughs> All right. Jordana Abrams, Samantha Fishbein, and Aileen Cooperman are the 20-something creators of the wildly successful yet very controversial blog. It's called Betches, Betches Love, Love This. this. <laughs> They're also the authors of <laughs> Nice, nice is, is Just a Place in France. France. <laughs> 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 basically Although that's everything. nice. <laughs> but anyway. Hey, guys. Hi, ladies. Hey, hey. Hi. All right. So what is a betch? Okay. Well, okay. <laughs> it's a girl who's pretty empowered and knows what she wants and is really confident about going after the things she wants, but, but she also just... has a cool air about well, her. Let's read a quote. Let's yep. read a quote from your book so we know what we're talking about here. Okay, this is about people being shallow. Being shallow and judging people solely on their appearances is, is absolutely nothing to be ashamed of. On the contrary, it's the wisest way to live, if only for the sake of efficiency. Who doesn't actually judge a book by its cover? Is that like funny haha, or do you mean it? Yeah, how much of this is tongue in cheek? Because it it goes it yeah. goes so much against what we've all been taught about right. how to be a, a, a contributing member of, of the of the planet and yeah. make things better for everybody, yeah, not us. just our selfish tell selves. Us. Of course, I mean a lot of a lot of it has elements of truth to it, which obviously we see you know everywhere in society. But at its heart, it's satire. It's obviously extremely exaggerated. It's more like the devil on your shoulder who might be whispering something that you're thinking but wouldn't want to say out loud necessarily. Uh -huh. Nice girls, the angel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you say we it's not great to be nice, and it's okay to be late because you deserve it. You're, you're more important than everybody else, yeah. right? Well, I think when we say nice, it's not so much should you, you know, be a nice person and not, I don't know, mm -hmm. cheat to people, mm -hmm. but um, it's that you shouldn't really let people take advantage of you and walk all over you and how to get Such a like a doormat. Let's bring, the, here's the late quote. This is the on-time quote because we're both weirdly on time. We're actually both <laughs> early for almost every lunch. Okay, here it is. We simply don't have time to be on time. Being late is one of the most quintessential ways to show people that you're better than them and therefore that your time is more valuable. <laughs> okay, you take that. You mean right? We read it properly. I mean, it's really about how, why should we wait for other people when they should be waiting for us? But there are exceptions to this rule. We came very early here. Of course well, you because did. you want somebody to draw us. us. No, here's the thing. Okay, you can say that, but then when somebody's late for something that matters to you, you. how do you wait? That's not okay. Right. You, no, you can go crazy. About that. Yes. Now, how, what, how, do you, what, how do you account for this book being so popular? I think we we're saying a lot of things that a lot of girls our age in our generation are thinking, but yeah. they're not really saying out loud. Uh -huh. So I think it gives the, it's almost like a guilty pleasure, like we can watch this and uh -huh. relate to these things, but we would never say them okay. out loud, but someone else is, someone so else they is. want to read it. All right, ladies, okay. well, we wish you good luck with this, uh, this book. <laughs> okay.